Good afternoon and welcome to another Thrill Pack video update for June 20th, 2019. Let's get right into it. Uh, as many of you know, we uh, received the ESCI report back and we had to develop some findings. So the ESCI report is back with the 24 key findings from the November 23rd fire. Chief Weech presented the work plan to the BOCC on Tuesday. As I told you in the last briefing on the 17th of June, we had to present our work plan. Many of the key findings are policy or procedural issues and, and which will be addressed promptly. Issues such as, you know, turnout times and things like that. Uh, they don't cost anything. We just have to address them. Some of the key findings are monetary issues and may take years to fully address. But in the short run, the Board of County Commissioners and the County Manager's Office agreed to address the highest recommendations by staff. This was at that work session on the 17th. There are budget goals for this year uh, with regards to fire rescue, and I'll name them off. Uh, the key finding 3A uh, decided for inadequate officer training. So they, uh, the board and the county manager's office is, uh, and as well as Chief Weech, were trying to allocate $300,000 per year to provide necessary training to all officers. That's captains and the battalion chiefs. That equates to about 40 hours of training additional over top of what we're doing now. Uh, each year. This is ongoing, so this is every year. Uh, to, to bring up to date, to, to do the, uh, the stuff that we're not being able to do right now. Key finding number five, uh, talked about the pre-alert paging system and how that was inadequate. So the board and the county manager's office are, are uh, looking at, we're upgrading the paging system and improving the capabilities of that. And that's buying hardware and and, and all those things that go along to, to improve that pre-alert system to get us out earlier. Key finding 11 was communications challenges. They uh, have agreed to that we can install these di digital media platforms and hardware in each station, which uh, kind of like the digital signage and, uh, and things like that where the information can be sent directly to the stations uh, and you can see it on the TV sets or monitors in there, so that's a big deal. Uh, that's coming. Key finding 13, three-person engines. We are going to add 27 positions uh, this year to bring all the engines up to three, and that's a cost of about 2.5 million the first year, and then of course those those uh, one-time costs you won't have it the next year. But uh, that's the the plan right now is to add the 27 positions to get everything, every engine back up to three. Key finding 16 was training officers. And again, the plan right now is to add two more training officer positions. It costs about $300,000 for the first year and then less than that afterwards because you have to buy vehicles and, you know, radios and office computers and things like that. So this is a tremendous commitment by the board and the county manager's office, and they're working hard along with the budget office and everything to make to get all of these things in place. So that's five of those key findings that are monetary that we're uh, uh, they're looking into make, making sure that we can get those in this upcoming budget year, which would start in October. So uh, again, I can't say enough about the support we've received from above us, and and this. Uh, th this is going to take us a long way into the future, d just these items right here. One more thing, if you look at these pictures, there's two things I want to point out on this. Um, this is a portion of, a la large portion of, we have 39 folks that are just, that haven't been here before, that are going through the onboarding process and training and everything. So we're about to be infused with about 39 or close to 40 new folks. And uh, new team members here, that's going to greatly reduce the, the overtime problems that we're having. Um, great welcoming on board. You see Chief Weech uh, welcoming, uh, welcome, welcoming those folks on board and, and uh, look for great things. Hopefully it's going to be a, 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 just a blessing to get these folks here and going through the process. The other thing I'd like for you to look at is this beautiful training facility, the training room that they're in. This is one of two. There's another one on the other side, kind of back behind where the picture is being taken, just like this. Our training folks have worked unbelievably hard with elbow grease at a budget of at or near zero, 
and have turned a wing in on the boot camp over there. We were uh, They worked a deal with the Sheriff's Department. We got a wing of that, these classrooms, and refurbed them and got them back to looking at what you're seeing right here. A state-of-the-art classroom. And again, I want to stress, on a shoestring budget of hardly nothing. A lot of elbow grease, a lot of those folks staying working at night. Those training uh, guys and gals over there have done an outstanding job. And, and you, you, we, we now have two more uh, state-of-the-art classroom facilities with electronics and everything. And I can't say enough about that. So this picture is not only good for the, the new team members we have, but also the new uh, classroom space that we have, which, again, with that oncoming training, we're going to need to uh, run a whole lot more classes than we got at one time now. Well, that's uh, about all the news I have for you right now. Got some other stuff happening, uh, going on right now. Just, just uh, th things are um, are really on the horizon. Chief Weech is uh, getting settled in. So if you have any questions or comments or, or you'd like to see anything in particular or like to find out anything, please let me know. The best way is email rickparnell at polk-county.net. Uh, other than that, you guys have a great day and be safe.